I'll just do a very brief statement. And that statement, uh, I will circulate. I'll circulate the. Um, I'll circulate it to you. After the brief statement, I'll say it in English and in Kiswahili. Alafu, I'll take some questions is in the usual manner. One, two, three questions. And then we'll leave it there. So, I have today the 23rd September 2024 filed a motion of censure against the holder of the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. I am motivated to file this censure motion against the holder of the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya because of conduct and becoming of that office. The Constitution of Kenya demands that the holder of the office of the Deputy President will be a national figure. The Constitution of Kenya defines in Article 260 that the president, the deputy president, and several other officers are state officers. State officers are bound by the oath of office they take and the values that are stipulated in the Constitution, Article number 10. National values include preaching unity, National values include non-discrimination. The Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya has been conducting himself as if he belongs to only one region of the Republic of Kenya to the exclusion of other regions of the Republic of Kenya, to the exclusion of other counties such as Tana River County in the Republic of Kenya. So this is a censure motion which I have filed today with the office of the Speaker of the Senate. They will process it. Once we get approval, we shall table it before the House, give notice of the motion, and debate the censure motion against the holder of the office of Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Censure motion is different from an impeachment motion. Kenyans must know, at the Senate, when a deputy governor or a governor has been impeached by the county assembly, the Senate sits as a court to affirm or reject the impeachment. When a president or a deputy president has been impeached by the National Assembly, the Senate again sits as a court to accept or reject the impeachment that will have gone on at the National Assembly. So these are two different processes. A censure motion is a debate from the Senate to strongly show disapproval in the manner in which the current holder of that office is conducting himself. We want to remind him in the Senate that he is the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and he must carry himself in that manner. I have a copy of this motion which I have submitted today. I will share it with the rest of you. If you have any questions, I'll be willing to, to take them. Kwa ufupi, leo asubuhi, mimi 
Senator Danson Mungatana wa Tana River County nimepeleka hoja kwa ofisi ya speaker wa bunge la Senate na hoja hii ni kuhusu namna ya ambaye anashikilia ofisi ya makamu wa rais katika Kenya saa hii anavyoendeleza shughuli zake Ninataka tu yazungumze kama wabunge wa Senate kwamba je hivi tunavyoendelea ni sawa makamu wa rais wa Kenya wanafaa wafanye hivi kwamba ukitoka sehemu ya pwani basi wewe ni kupigania pwani peke yake na wengine wote wasahaulike wewe ukitoka sehemu ya ya ya, ya North Eastern, ama Jimbo la Ufa ama Nairobi kazi yako wewe ni kuzungumza na kutembea na kufanya mambo hapo sio Kenya mzima na tunataka tuongee je hivi unavyoendelea sasa ni sawa hii uh, oath of office ambayo alichukua je makamu wa rais ambaye ameshikilia saa hii hiyo nafasi je anafanya kulingana na matarajio ya katiba ya Kenya hii ndio maswali ambayo tunataka tukayaongee mbele ya wabunge wa Senate na Kenya mzima isikize na hii sio hoja ya kufukuza makamu wa rais kwa ofisi kuna tofauti hoja ya kufukuza gavana ama makamu wake kutoka kwa ofisi inapitishwa na wabunge wa county assembly kisha inaletwa kwa senate kukubaliana na wao ama kukataa hoja ya kutimuliwa mamlakani kwa rais ama makamu wake inatoka kwa bunge ya national assembly ambao hao kama wamepitisha bunge ya senate wanakaa wakubaliane na wao ama wakatae hayo maneno kwa hivyo hii si bunge si si hoja ya kumtimua makamu wa rais. Hii ni hoja ambayo kizungu tunasema strong disapproval. Ama ni hoja ya kukataa na kutokubaliana na vile anavyoiendesha ofisi hiyo ambayo aliapa mbele ya wananchi wa Kenya na watu wote wa dunia ya kwamba atatumikia Kenya mzima na kumsaidia rais je hapa katikati akikugeuka akisema yeye anazungumzia mambo peke yake ya murima je haya ndiyo yaliyokubaliwa katika nafasi ya makamu wa rais na makamu wa rais ambao atamfuata baada ya yeye je akichaguliwa kutoka pwani akichaguliwa kutoka uh, kaskazini mashariki akichaguliwa kutoka Nairobi je kazi yake ingekuwa ni kuongea na kufanya mambo ya sehemu hiyo peke yake haya ndio maswali tunataka kuyaenda kuyaongea kwa bunge la senate na kwa sasa mimi ninaenda kuomba senate ikatae mambo ambayo yanaendelea sahihi hii Kenya iko na shida na hatuwezi kukubali mtu mmoja kukataa kufanya kazi yake na kuingiza mambo mengi badala ya kufanya ile kazi ambayo katiba ya Kenya ilimpatia so nimeweka mbele tarehe leo 26 mwezi wa tisa mwaka huu kwamba tumefile kwa speaker na vile procedure ya bunge la senate inasema ni kwamba Tunapeleka kwa speaker, speaker atafanya approval, alafu ndiyo iende kwa bunge la Senate. Alafu hapo ndiyo maseneta wote wa Kenya watatoa maoni yao, kama wanakubaliana na mimi ama watasema hawatakubaliana na mimi. Lakini sisi tunaamini ya kwamba katiba ya Kenya inaendelewa kuvunjwa kila siku, kila matamshi ambayo yanaendelezwa saa hii ni matamshi ambayo yako nje ya kikatiba. Na sisi kama bunge la Senate tungependa kusema kupitia kwa hii hoja ya kwamba 
let us bring the current office holder into order. The current office holder into order to do what he is supposed to do by the provisions of this, um, of this um, uh, constitution of Kenya. Na katika vipengele hivi vya, vya, vya hii hoja, nimetaja kila section ya kikatiba ambayo inavunjwa. Na mimi nime sema kwamba kama public officer, kama we ni public officer, kuna zile values ambazo zinatakana ufuati. Public officer anatakikana alete watu pamoja. Sio kutenganisha watu. Sio kupigania mahali pamoja hasa akiwa anashikilia ofisi ya makamu wa rais. Na sisi, sisi tu, tu, tunashangaa sana kwa sababu tumekuwa na makamu wa rais wengi. Lakini hakuna makamu wa rais tangu tupate uhuru ambaye anajitangaza kuwa ni kiongozi wa sehemu moja ya Kenya. Na we umeapa mbele za Mungu za wananchi wote na umeshika katiba na ukabeba hivi ukasema we utatumikia Kenya yote hai we must bring this thing to order as a senate we shall be debating this matter once it receives the approval of the speaker i thank you very much na kama kuna maswali i'll be happy to receive some questions so that there is you and who else uh, there is you Uyu hapa na yule. So we have quest, four questions. Maybe we can have a lady asa. Kuna. So tutakuwa na wane. Yes, you can tell me your name, please. Asante. The DP said, no motion or thing that touches with this has defined the four parliaments without the president's approval. Yes. Okay, next question. The other question? Yes. Okay. The other one? Mr. Uh, Ronald Reagan. Yes. Mr. Very good. Wakenya wanauliza, kumiokuwa pia na ni na isia mbali mbali kutika mtanda ya kijami. Wanasema, maso na mbali tunayashudi ambayo na Ibu Raisa na yachekeleza sasa hini, kila mbacha na kisema, wanasema, it is the same script ya mbali kijamana wakati wa Raisa ya Mbuto, na ilikuwa ni mbini ya kutafuta ita simba the works ambazo walikuwa kizisaka. Hii inaweza kuwa ni mbinu na njama ya serikali hasa mwanzo kutoa wa Kenya kwa vile vitu ambavyo vina vinawahusu kama vile mchakato mzima ambao unaendelea wa Adani JK kuna masuala mengi ambayo yamekuwa na jiri. Hii ni njia ya kudivert attention ya wa Kenya kwa baadhi ya masuala ambayo Kenya wanatarajia kwa sasa. Okay, so uh, and if I forget you just remind me. Lakini pale chacha ametuuliza uh, as a president, uh, the deputy president has said that every motion that touches on him must come from the president. Surely, uh, as a senator, I have the capacity to bring any motion, any legislative proposal, any bill before the House, and we seek a debate, and it is either confirmed or rejected. Now. But from a practical point of view, I am the head of delegation of Pan-African Parliament in Kenya. This is the African Parliament. And we have just come uh, yesterday from a session uh, in, uh, in uh, Johannesburg. So I have had no opportunity at all to, to meet or discuss with His Excellency the President. And I'm also given to know that is outside the country. So even from a practical point of view, it is not possible that, um, that uh, we could have met or discussed anything. So that is a no, no. This is a thing that I'm doing because as a senator, I am unhappy and we need to bring the politics of this country to order. Uh, the next question was, Ebony Kumbuja, my friend, who was still there. Weather? Yes, sir. To go with the impeachment. 
Now, um, from where I stand, I have no control over what people do or they say within the National Assembly. And uh, that is where the power to impeach the president or the deputy president lies. It is in the National Assembly. They will make their own decision as to whether or not we should impeach the, the, the deputy president. But you have asked what I think, uh, me, what I think myself as, as Danson Buya Mugatana, Senator for Tana River. I am personally, and the people of Tana River are not happy when our deputy president talks like he belongs to a certain region in Kenya to the exclusion of the people of Tana River and other regions in the Republic of Kenya. So I'm not happy at all, at all, at all. And many people are not happy. And I will tell you, if I was a National Assembly member of parliament and they brought me a motion of impeachment today, I will sign it without any hesitation because what is going on is not what we expect of the deputy president of a Republic of Kenya. However, let us wait for the impeachment motion because this motion will also give, uh, I've given my opinion and that's why I have moved in this motion to say let us censure, let us censure him. But the collective opinion of the House will also help in determining the thinking. If, if the House will support me, I will be happy uh, to, to know that many other senators think like myself. But I'm not a member of parliament again, Buana. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not getting here. Uh, sorry, uh, Mr. 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 Wichi, uh, I'm not a member of parliament, but if I was, I would sign that motion. And then the, uh, it was you and then him. Huh? Then you, yes. So you are Mr. Mr. Jeff, yes. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. Buana uh, Kirui, we operate a system of governance similar to the one in the United States. And in the United States, we also have censure motions and impeachment motions. A censure motion can come against any public officer, any person, including uh, a, you know, a chief justice, including a, a judge, including a permanent secretary, including a president, any person in the public service, a, a motion of censure can be brought against them. Now, the difference between a motion of censure and a motion of impeachment is, first of all, the processes are different. Uh, but the crucial thing is that a motion of impeachment, if it is originated in the National Assembly and approved at the Senate, then the office holder will go. They must go. Although in other countries you are fined or you are, you are, you are fined or even imprisoned, but in our jurisdiction we follow the way the United States jurisdiction stands, which says the person who is holding that office must leave. Okay? Now, for a censure motion, we have had senators in the uh, United States uh, who have been censured. And when you are censured, it is a strong disapproval of the conduct of what you are engaged in, whatever it is. Maybe you are campaigning against this, or you are doing this, or whatever it is that you are standing for. So you will not be removed from office, but the House can decide. Now we have censured you. What next? Uh, it could be a fine, it could be a reprimand, it could be a letter to, to tell you that what you need to do is stop what you're doing is not right. So a censure motion, in a sense, is in terms of consequences, a lower standard in terms of consequences as, op as, as opposed to a motion of impeachment. But a censure motion, essentially, when this one goes to the Senate, we will debate how do we want our current holder of the office to behave? How, how should we, is, is it constitutional, for example, for um, 
a, a, a deputy, uh, an office, a deputy president, or even a president, to go and uh, interfere with the work of the county government. Yet, in our national values and in our constitution, Article 10, we have said we must respect the two levels of government. So is it, pro is it procedural for uh, 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 even a cabinet secretary to go and direct what a governor should do? So uh, these are the issues that will come up in this debate. And uh, we hope that Kenyans will see for themselves what we need. Our, my point is that we must bring this country to order. We must make these things move properly. In fact, um, in our constitution, uh, uh, like the American constitution, the deputy uh, president is supposed to work uh, as a principal assistant to the president. So uh, the question is, is he fulfilling the constitutional mandate? Those issues we will debate them. Those issues Kenyans will hear. There will be those who will say, no, he's doing his work. There will be those who will be saying that he doesn't. But we must have this discussion. It is wrong for it to just go around the media, uh, social media, internet, what, 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 at the expense of development. Let us go and have a sitting. Let us debate this thing. Let us agree he's right or he's wrong. Let us have that, that moment so that we can free Kenyans, free the media and the energy to do the work that you are elected into office to do. Yes, that was uh, the final question, unless there's another burning one. So mine was that? Yes, sir. Matesa mba raisu ya mbutani hiya, natumia matesa kwenye mbana. Ok. Alingia sana kisema kamba ni kukwana kandamizwa na bosi waki ambaye ni Nancy Mustafa. Na wakati ambapo mwuritengeneza hii serikali, walisema ni serikali ya watu hote. Yes. Na unakumbuka na hivu wa raisi ligadi ya shabu alitumia sana neno na kusema la shareholders. Yes. Na katika kampeni zaki kutembea kwa kiangalia wakati ambapo amakuwa na izuguka hali ya wahi, anasema kwamba wao ndio walipigia raisi ya mtoto kukura kwa wingi zaidi. Yes. Ile hali watu ambao wamepati wa viti haswa katika eh, nafasi za uh, uh, viti vya mawaziri ni watu wa, wanatoka maina ambayo hawaku mpigia raisi ya mtoto kukura. Yes. Wakini wanauliza swali hili ni mbinu ya serikali kuhamisha mawazi ya wa Kenya na fikra na vile vile mawazi yao kutokana na kila ambacho wamekuwa wanakizamia ikiwemo swala la adani kuchukua eh, usukani wa angatua kimataifa ya JKIA vile vile kulikuwa na mauaji ya kizazi cha JZ ya kuishinikiza serikali hii ambayo unalia ilifai kwenda wote walifaa waelekea nyumbani kwa hivyo swali la wa Kenya ni hili ni mbinu ya serikali vile vile rais ya Mruto anaitumia kumtumia rigadi kashawa kama naibu wake kutosha wa Kenya waondokee masuala ambayo yanawahusu ah uh, you know ulipoanza hiyo hiyo swali ilikuwa inaenda vingine lakini mwisho swali imekuwa nyingine but let me try and and give you my thoughts as Danson Mungatana senator of Tanari ya kwanza mambo ya uh, uhusiano wa uhuru Kenyatta na uh, William Ruto hayo ni mambo yalikuwa na yamepita na wakenya wenyewe walijionea na wakatoa maamuzi yao kwa hivyo hayo ni mambo ambayo siwezi kuyaongelea because sote tulitoa uamuzi tukapiga kura tukakubaliana ama tukakataa mimi lile ninaongelea sahihi ni kwamba huyu ni makamu wa rais ambaye amepewa nafasi na amechukua uh, oath yani ame ameapa mbele za Mwenyezi Mungu kufanya kazi kama uh, vile katiba inasema na vipengele vya kikatiba nimevitaja hapa je kuna haki hapo utoke hapa useme sasa eh, mimi si, ninapigania ni, 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 ni haki ya hapa Unaona, utoke kwa inchi mzima uende kwa kijiji useme mimi sasa mimi ndio wa hapa na sisi ambao tuko nje ya hapo tunasema ni makosa tunasema ni makosa na tunasema tena ni makosa tunasema sisi kama watu wa Tanariva tuna haki ya huyo makamu wa rais pale alipo 
kututumikia pia sisi uh, so hiyo ni, ni na ile mambo ya William Ruto na Uhuru Kenyatta sikumbuki si pengine akili nimepotea nimekuwa mzee siku hizi lakini nitasema hivi sikumbuki wakati ambapo eh, jamaa uh, makamu wa rais wakati huo alisimama akasema mimi napigania sehemu hii eh, so haki zetu ndio hizi na sikumbuki mbunge ama seneta yote alipotoka kule kulalamika ninavyolalamika mimi sahihi kuwa kuna kuna uh, uh, discrimination ama kugawanya watu na ile kusema kwamba ambalo ni swali lako pia kwamba pengine hii ni njama ya kuondoa akili za wakenya kwa mambo ya shida ambazo wanazipata kama adani na kupeleka mawazo yao mahali pengine uh, si, 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 mimi naona kwamba hayo ni mambo tofauti kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe nimetoa statement na nimesema kwa mitandao uh, ya kwamba mambo ya adani yafuatiziwe na senate committee inafuatizia na inachunguza hayo maneno. Uh, kwa hivyo siamini ya kwamba e, mtu anaweza kusema na aseme kuwa ni kweli ya kwamba we nenda ukaharibu siasa hivi ukaseme hivi na hivi ili watu wasahau uh, mambo ya adani. Mambo ya adani uh, waziri anayehusika anafuatiziwa na senate na najua nilipokuwa Afrika Kusini aliitwa mbele na aliulizwa uh, bwana Chirchir na alijieleza na watu hawakutosheka na nafikiri anaitwa tena kuja kujieleza kuhusu hiyo program so hiyo project na mambo mengine ambayo anahusika na shida za wananchi zinaendelea na hii ingine ambayo tunaona ni shida ambayo inatukoroga sote inaendelea so i don't see a correlation between those two those are two different matters that are being followed separately and are being processed separately uh, at the level of senate i think i think i'd like to finish there yes sir yes sir yes sir yes uh, while i know i'm not aware that the national assembly has filed a censor motion. You are aware? Uh, or a, a, an impeachment motion. Are you aware of that? Do, ha, has it come? No, has it come to you? Have you seen it? So maybe it is there. Maybe it's not there. Uh, maybe it is there. Maybe it's not there. But uh, Vincent, from my point of view, as a senator of Tana River, I'm aggrieved that my deputy president has decided that against the oath of office he took, he will only fight and focus for the people around where he was born. And this discussion, we must have it. What is going on, Vincent, is wrong. And people must, and this is not political, by the way. This is not political. Even me, if, if uh, my people feel that uh, as a senator of Tana River or, uh, or whatever position I'm holding, that you are only doing for one area and not the rest, you have a reason to complain. Me, I am honestly complaining that there's something wrong going on. And I'm not dwelling on deeper issues like uh, uh, should we have a deputy president at all? You know, should we have deputy governors at all? You know, th those are issues that we need also to think about. Because I used to be an assistant minister in government's past. And uh, at some point, uh, the Constitution came and said, people want, were saying, no, we don't want uh, to have assistant minister. We could not imagine how a minister can run the ministry without the help of the deputy ministers. But then look, it, it has worked. The current cabinet secretaries are functioning without the help of the deputy ministers. In fact, all the attempts of bringing uh, chief administrative sectors have been re rejected, and we are going on. So sometimes in the next constitutional dispensation, we must ask ourselves intellectually these questions, that do we actually need that position of a deputy governor or a deputy president at all? Uh, because 
and, and I'm speaking intellectually, uh, and uh, you can see even my press, my press conference here, I am provoking Kenyans into thinking. Do we actually need it? Or is it just that we are used to that position? Now, if the issue is that a deputy governor uh, is supposed to, uh, in case the governor goes or is incapacitated, he's supposed to take over, what if we said the judge who is presiding over the county or the nearest judge there can hold office as we prepare for an election? What is wrong with that? And if it is a deputy president, what if we say in the next constitutional dispensation, we do away with this position which is causing us manenos, and then we say, what if in the event of incapacity of the president that the chief justice of the Republic of Kenya, who is a, a political, he does not have any political, he's not from a political party or anything, holds that office and prepares for the general election. We will not be having all these pressures, you know? So Vincent, I, I want you to, and you are a senior reporter because we've been around with you for many years. I want you also to help Kenyans to see where we are going. Is this constitution really helping us, you know? that once you are elected as a deputy president or a deputy governor, you start thinking, I'm a co-governor or I'm a co-president. Are we doing the, the, the right things? Uh, so there, there are all these questions, Vincent, that uh, I think Kenyans should, should start uh, looking at. But those are discussions for another day. What I'm saying today, and Vincent, I am completely persuaded that what is going on is wrong. If, if, if I'm just to hazard, and I'm not in the mind of uh, President Ruto, yeah? I'm not in the mind of any governor in this republic. I'm not even a governor. But if I was a governor today, if I was a president today, there's an area where I was born, I would want to do more for that area. But I would never, as a governor or as a president, stand in front of people and say, this area, I am fighting for this area. What happened to the office, uh, oath of office that you took? What happened to the constitution? What happens to the rest of us? So your hard things, keep them there. Don't come and uh, disrupt and cause tension all over. So I, I hope this end I've answered your question. I truly believe that we need to bring this uh, administration uh, in the manner in which it is happened, the politics they must be done properly. And I think Senate is the correct place where we can have a decent discussion, a decent debate, and people can say, let us censure this and say this is wrong, what you're doing. Or maybe uh, they will say, no, no, let us uh, leave it alone. But the Constitution is very clear. You cannot be a holder of a national office and still uh, be a leader of a, of a, of a single area. And I, 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 and I, I really, I, I'm really pleading with those who have accepted to take national positions, please, just do your duties. Those who have accepted to go that way. If you want to be the leader of a county, go for the governor's position. If you want to be a leader of a, of, of a, of a, of a constituency, go for that position. A word, go for that position. But if you have aspired for a national position, please be national. Thank you very much. Uh